What you need is peroxide, yeast, uh, a cup, and a thermostat. Um, what, what we're going to do is we're going to have a heat chemical reaction, which will be pretty cool. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to take the peroxide, put it in the bowl, let's see, or I'm sorry, in the cup. Put about a fourth cup in there. Alright. Okay, so we got that in there. Stick the thermostat in there. Right now it's reading about 59 degrees. Stick that in there and let it sit there for a couple minutes. What we're going to do right now, um, let it sit here and I'm going to be back in just a minute. Well, for you to be a couple seconds and we'll see what happens. Okay, so now it's reading at about uh, 43 degrees. What we're going to do is we're going to get some yeast and we're going to open that up. And you want about, uh, about a teaspoon, maybe even a tablespoon of yeast. And you're going to stick that in with the peroxide and it should start fizzing. So we're going to stick that in there. And once it starts fizzing, you'll see the chemical reaction start. See how it's starting to fizz up? Um, so now you know the chemical reaction is working. And what's going to happen is if we can see the thermostat, take that out here for a second, mix that up. Okay, so, let me wipe that off. Again, it's going to make a mess, so, take that underneath it. Okay, so, move that off. Wipe this off. Okay, so it's at 43. We're going to stick that in there for a couple of minutes and we'll see what happens. Let's see. You can see it in there. All right. We're going to keep that in there. So now that it's been on there for just a few seconds, we're almost at 80 degrees. Um, so that's the chemical reaction that happens when you yeast and bake or peroxide. It does heat up very quickly. And I know this looks gross, but here you have it. We're at, let's see, 72. Now we're dropping again. Stick that back in there. And it goes back up. So that is pretty cool. Chemical reaction between peroxide and yeast.